project obviously starts with the client, and the client's objective was to create a zero energy house. And a zero energy house is a house that produces more energy than it uses. We need clean energy so oil can't go everywhere. We need clean energy so we can preserve our earth for future generations. When I was 10 years old, in 1978, Jimmy Carter was president and there was an energy crisis. When the oil spill took place in April this year, I looked at my 10 year old and realized we hadn't made any progress in our dependence on oil. I want to make sure we're taking steps now so that Olivia doesn't turn to her 10 year old and say we haven't made any progress. I made the choice to expend a lot of energy over a short period of time to save an enormous amount of energy over the rest of my life. So in this particular case, it was a renovation. We had a set footprint that we were working on. So that produced a certain design challenge. But again, working with the client, we were able to produce an envelope that's about 2,100 square feet. And we used three different distinct but integrated ways to achieve zero energy. The first, and in my opinion, the most cost-effective way to achieve zero energy is passive solar. We allow the winter sun to come into the buildings through strategic placing of windows. And what that does in the winter time is it heats the building. In the summertime, that same sun is blocked, so it does not create heat gain inside the building. We use solar panels, which produces electricity, and we use a geothermal heat pump, which operates off of the solar panels. When you combine all those factors together, we have a house again that produces more energy than it uses. When we began the design of this project, we knew from the start that the building functioned more like a sustainable machine would dictate the aesthetics and overall form of the structure. And despite how different the building looks from its surrounding neighbors, it fits in quite nicely with its context and has a natural flow. And some of the sustainable features that we've used on this project that continually operate throughout all the seasons include photovoltaic panels that have produced approximately 11 kW throughout the year. We also utilize north-facing clear story windows that contribute to the overall ambient light of the interior. For the summer months, large overhangs protect the south-facing glazing from being fully exposed to direct solar heat gain, minimizing heat transfer from the exterior to the interior spaces. The stack effect utilizes cool air coming off the water and is pulled through the building as hot air rises and escapes through the clear story windows. We also provided a white EPDM cool roof membrane that reflects the sun's energy and prevents the building from absorbing additional heat. The geothermal system running on electric power produced from the photovoltaic cells pumps the water needed for cooling below grade and tempers it, so less energy is needed to get the water to the proper temperature the cooling system needs for the air conditioning. In the winter months, the low winter sun is allowed to penetrate the south facing glazing and hit the concrete floors. They in turn absorb the heat energy and disperse it throughout the day. The ambient temperature without the heat on can reach about 60 degrees without using any energy from the building's internal systems. The geothermal system in the winter works the same way as the summer, but instead of tempering the water cooler, it tempers the water warmer, requiring less energy to heat the water to the proper temperature. Being a renovation, we were able to reclaim some of the existing materials from the original structure, such as the posts for the rails at the main interior stairway, as well as wood planking that was utilized as interior wall covering and finished casework material. Utilizing traditional passive solar techniques coupled with active building systems, this house is capable of producing more energy than it consumes. If more homeowners had the incentive 
to build a more sustainable home or retrofit their existing home then significantly reducing our dependence on fossil fuels is feasible. Imagine if our buildings were more efficient, we wouldn't need to drill into the Gulf. So um, that's our mission, is to get the word out about renewable energy, the fact that everybody can do it. Um, and what we need to do is to have the government and the local governments involved in helping it, making it financially feasible for the people to have it. And I think the United States needs to become a front runner in the making of the technologies, solar panels, geothermal systems, tankless water systems. We need to become a world leader in that arena so that we can become more efficient and slowly wean ourselves off of oil. Thank you.